think about this. This is a 235 man event that is. I thought it was more than that. Uh, I thought it was at least like 250 something. No, no, it's like 230 something. It's well, low. It's on the lower end for an S tier, but like high, how stacked it is because of high level of skill. The incentive of Summit, its location in SoCal, and this is a this is a can't miss event. When you think about it, it is one one eighth of your your playership today is basically PGR, and if they're not in that one eighth. That is PGR. They're probably the next one eighth, so a quarter of all your players are just outside of PGR or PGR. Yeah. Everything is stacked. Everyone wants a piece of that that uh, that summit pot. The people trying to, you know, obviously get theirs, showing up to this one. And here we go. Looks like we're going to be starting the game soon. Wolf, you were right. All right, he started on PS2 here. And the interesting thing that I think. Ooh. Oh, bye. <laughs> all right. See you later. Yeah, a little bit of a flub there from Larry. Uh, kills himself in the very beginning there. Uh, Gluttony not missing a beat there. Going to go ahead and take the first stock. That's honestly why I felt so confident in my pickup Gluto before this set even started, is not the separation of skill between the players. Obviously, they're both incredibly well uh, well versed in their own play styles. It's just the fact that Wolf and Falco both are so fragile, and Wario can cause so much disruption off stage, and it's just, it's going to be very very difficult. I feel like for Larry to pull this upset off. Yeah, I mean, with this game right here, I think Larry uh, obviously he wants to focus on not getting hit by too much stuff. Which I mean, Wario can really put a huge hurt on Wolf. It's a fast faller, man. It just happens. Yep. Also, I want to note, I misspoke earlier. I thought all of top 64 was going to be best of five. I'm actually still seeing the best of three. So, unfortunately, Larry does not have a lot more to work with after this first game. Oh, it's still a best of three, huh? Seems like it. But currently a minute in and down two full stocks at this point. Yeah, tries to get a tech in place with a down smash, but Gluten uh, wasn't born yesterday. Tech's away. Beautiful beer versus bite on that, too. Fantastic play from Gluto right now. Yeah, the big... Larry's really got to get something going here with a kill. Okay, dash attack. Yeah, and that's partially why I think Falco may have been uh, a potentially better choice here because you can go off stage with Falco. Right, right. With Wolf, it's just like the risk reward is usually like super not in your favor, so generally ill advised to do that. Uh, but you know you got to make big plays happen. Uh, he's playing a whole lot better on this stock here, but. Unfortunately, it's his last one. Yeah, I like this is a comeback and a half if he's able to pull this off. But we may actually see the Falco game too, just as like as, like any attempt to try to mix up the the game plan here. Yeah, gets a down throw, and we still haven't gotten a kill yet. So I uh, will I credit where credit is You're right about that consistent kill setup. You know, if he's not getting those early percent early percent kills with Wolf, you're gonna see these 200 percent stocks. And of course, that'll finally yeah, do it. He didn't even bother deying that one. He was all right. I got grabbed. You got yeah. me. I'll see you on the next stock. Check my invincibility real quick. Oh, ooh, yikes! <laughs> what a catch! Yeah, really though. My man said, "Nah, hold this, JV." Right. Quick discussion about stage bands. Of course, we do. Uh, we have an eight stage, eight stage setup here. Uh, your traditional starters are going to be Smashville, FD, Battlefield, mm -hmm. Town, and Pokemon. And then you're going to have Lilat, Yoshi's Story, and Kalos as your potential counter picks here. So I'm curious if Larry maybe opts for the Falco or sticks with the Wolf onto Kalos, perhaps. Uh, I feel like that would really benefit the spaces and give him a lot more space to work with and pick and choose how he approaches him a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, I, I could see Falco on Kalos. Uh, I think that's a really good ca uh, Kalo Falco stage. But Giant he stays stage. Wolf Giant stage. and Town and City. Uh, if he doesn't SD... Uh, in the first, you know, 15 seconds. I could really see him, uh, you know, regaining maybe a little bit of momentum. But here we go. Big Wario combo. Going to go ahead and take him up to 44. But uh, firing back a little bit of a combo of his own. Ooh, off stage. Gluto going super high and just positioning I himself with that down air. So good. He's so brave. <laughs> he, he does he not, he's not even side. worried about Wolf Flash. And Gluto really just hanging well. out below stage. Because I dare you to try to hit this two frame. That's a, such a huge strength of Wario is he's able to mix up his recovery just by delaying it with the bike, you know, and just hanging out there until you pick an option and he's able to get back after. A great hey, dash audio. Hey, we got sound. Cool. <laughs> Good up tilt there. I mean, you, I mean this, you're right. The, the first stock isn't lost in the opening salvo, and now suddenly Larry has a new lease on life. Yeah, he's uh, definitely not, you know, in the lead yet, but... He's not super new. 
tried to up smash out of shield that Nair, but you kind of got to just hold it. It beats a lot of damage. That's the brutal thing, too, is like Lair will actually get these these moments of control, these moments of advantage state. And then the second Gluto is able to pull that parry, I mean, you saw Larry just take 40% out of nowhere. Yeah, Empty Hop's really paying off a lot for him, too. I like the forward tilt, uh, especially off of a throw, because you can catch a lot of things with that, especially like, you know, jumps or if they just try to drift away from you, uh, especially when you kind of slide with it. Gets the first kill, and, you know, he is at 90%, though. Not quite going to kill with the down air. Wow. Really good wow, kill. Gluto. I mean, and that's and that's really just like matchup experience, the knowledge, the knowledge base of that that tippy top player like that. He's like, you're going to be right here. This is how I'm going to interact with your recovery, and this is how I'm going to snuff it out. Yeah, I mean, so many people are just afraid of the wolf recovery because of the strength of the you know hitboxes it has. But if you understand like that, you know, they have you have to mess up your spacing pretty bad to actually die to that then you, know, you can bully Wolf off stage really bad. Especially after the initial nerfs that you, ooh. Okay, okay. goes for a, what must have been a half waft. Yeah, because even on Town and City, that would, call, that would kill full stage with a full waft. Yeah. Another big weakness of Wolf here that I feel uh, Gluto's taking huge advantage of. Oh, the bite! No! Never matter what I was saying, he no. ran him over. <laughs> road kill. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Okay, no, I, guess best I guess we are best of five. I guess we are best of five. I guess we are best of five. Switching up the, I probably switched up the graphics between games too. Yikes. But uh, as I was saying, uh, a big weakness of Wolf that I think Gluto is taking huge advantage of is Wolf's out of shield is frankly bad. It's Nair. Yeah, well Nair is frame nine. Yeah. So like, it's not really an out of shield option that's worth thinking about, unless you're fighting like a character with terrible frame data, which Wario really isn't. No, slightly stubby at times, but you cannot fr you cannot fault the character for having bad frame data. Yeah. Gluto just looking for that opening. Like, if I hit this up air, you're gonna take 45. Okay, nice. Larry off to a good start. Nice. Gets 58% with uh, kind of one exchange, but here we go, he might, ooh, good DI. Yeah, that's the kind of the unique thing about that Wario Nair hitbox. It's going to have uh, around the joints. So Larry, you saw him DI to the left-hand side of it and just out of the combo. Gluni wasn't ready for that. Yeah, that's good awareness and knowledge of uh, kind of how Wario works there. Oh, we went for the bite. Would have been very smart. Yeah, the, the real big bad problem thing for Wolf here is that, you know, when Wario Nairs his shield, he has, he really has like no, not a whole ton of options to counteract that. And just lets Gluto get started. He's a lot better this game though. He's off to a good start. He has the, a slight lead. Yeah, honestly. And the Tripods are just giving him more escape options. You know, he's not basically getting caught by a Wario hit straight hit and then eating another 30, 40% of the time. He's able to really determine how he wants to interact with Ludo, which is something we haven't seen in the previous games. Yeah, and all, not quite getting the kill yet, but he has him off stage with the back throw. Hits him with the bike, good toss. He doesn't get the uh, two yeah. frame with down tilt, but weak dash attack. That move lingers for so long. You have to be careful how you move around that. So Wario will be dying to back throw like fairly soon. I mean, obviously he'll die right now if he's at the ledge, but uh, he's got to keep an eye out on that one. Nice, Great nice. Great punish on the attempted bite. A lot of players would roll in there, and I feel like that's what, what Gluto was looking for. And Larry instead just opts for the drop zone up air. Yeah, I managed to get his uh, the first stock and his first lead really in the uh, set so far. Looks like Battlefield was a much better stage for us. Really, it just seemed like Gluta's been able to convert on his openings a lot better than Larry has. And that's really just how this matchup kind of plays out. It's not really a detriment to either character. It's more of just how Wario can combo Wolf and how Wolf can combo Wario. Much too floaty for a character like Wolf to really have those long extended combos on. Here we go. Uh, Gluta managed to get a bite kill and then... Uh, no, it wasn't a bite kill. 
Anyway, he managed to get the kill on Larry, and now we're at even stocks here, but he is sitting at 82%, so if Larry managed the, to keep the lead, then he might be able to put himself on the board. The problem is, like, this lead is only on, is, is, pap is on paper only, because right now, that is going to happen. Unfortunately, that's another the wrong side again. That was a full waft, though. So we might have seen a full waft in game two as well, and it just went to the it's wrong possible. side. Yeah, big stage. Oh, he tries to dash attack him, but doesn't get a huge punish, but... Managed to hold center, though. All right, good trade on the dash attack. Managed to get him, but the bike is kind of scary, to be honest. When he just kind of goes nice. back on stage with it. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's going to send outwards. Larry going to use his air dodge up to avoid dying there. Oh, that was a, a good idea to kind of go to the platform there, but right in there, punish on the bike throw. Again, dash attacked into his shield, got punished for it. Is he going to die? Yeah, good no. roll read there from Gluto. Bike. Well, you knew one of those were eventually going to hit. Yeah. <laughs> you, do oh. it for, you do it for so long, eventually you're going to hit it. Larry managed to get an up tilt on the platform, though. Managed to uh, bring it up even. I think I saw a half off just flash. Something to keep in mind here. And as we get comboed across the screen. So unfortunate. Wolf whiffing a dash grab. Kind of like the most, one of the most hurtful things when you're playing Wolf is when you just whiff a dash grab and it's a huge punish. And now he's on, like, the problem is Larry's constantly having to fight with his back to the corner. And with half waft on deck, and God forbid he gets back up to full waft, that's just such a dangerous place to be in. Ooh, good B-reverse bite. Larry just can't get down from this platform. Really good spacing on the... Oh, man. He what is ready for it. That's going to be the three. Oh, for it. you hate to see it. I mean, you love to see it if you're French. Sure. Or sure. if you're a big Wario fan. Sure, sure. You ain't wrong. Gluttony puts Larry into Lucia's bracket and moves on. I still feel like we're waiting for that that breakout moment, right? From a few players, not just Larry, but like there's a few players from like from leftover from the Smash 4 hierarchy that we really haven't seen and make that long I mean Larry's, that wrong. The Larry's teammate, anti. Anti uh, fatality comes to mind as well. Good run at CEO, but n has, hasn't re reached the same levels that he had in Smash 4. Yeah. Um, and it's one of the things that it's going to happen eventually. A bracket pl bracket will like align itself to where that that deep run will finally open up. I believe in Larry especially. I Absolutely. think Larry is a genius and one day he's he'll playing be the right character for it too. Like if you're going to if you're going to have if you're going to have a top tier that's going to help you out um in like specific matchups, your Palos and your Wolves and a lot of those characters I feel like is going to be more beneficial than say the snakes and everything else. A lot of people will prep for that, right? They know how to play against Snake. You have to play the Snake matchup. You can't just play Ultimate at that point. But I don't know. It's tough, man. Everyone everyone practices so long and so hard for these games. And especially, you know, we talked about how important play, play, just placing top eight here at this tournament is. Not just not winning. Just top eight really is the, yeah, the, I mean, the goal. Top eight is like if you're, if you're placing top eight, you're almost guaranteed to something. Winner side, winner side, you're guaranteed. Uh, loser side, you're going to have to either win one or win the best of five. We talked about it earlier. Tweak Not Here opens up that seventh place tiebreaker now, uh, provided Leo does make top eight. Uh, that seventh, that seven place tiebreaker, which would like lock up the final summit spot available today. Six spots, folks. Where, where suddenly like you're, you know, it's like 230 entrants, and there's a pop. I think there's a pop bonus for the event. So I think it's like five thousand dollars. Yeah, so it's a good chunk of change, obviously, for making seventh, but. You get know, some dollars. You know, it's, feel it's, not, it's not a summit payout. <laughs> a summit payout is a huge deal. It really is. And of course, it would not be possible without Beyond the Summit. This, yeah, of course, is the first Smash Major. You see it all all behind us here in the lovely graphic. I didn't know how far away this was. I didn't want to knock it over. Yeah. Give this venue. The venue's nice. You know, yeah, I don't know really if you've nice. been in this one before, but. Uh, I know, was it Paragon LA was, it was here? Paragon 2015. Uh, I was at that tournament in 2015. That was the last time I was in this venue. So it was really weird walking back in here again, like so much later, a different game, you know, seeing like some of the Ooh. same people. But